become a thriving tourist industry. Going into Penny Lane, and what we'll be doing in just a moment is stopping just around the corner from here. Penny Lane, there is a bar. Warm, I'll tell you, it's very warm in here. This is Penny Lane. And um, we'll walk down. Are you on this floor too? Yeah. You find this bus warm? It's very hot. I wonder if it was just me, but it's you as well, is it? It's very hot, yeah. Yeah? What do you think about the Beatles? Great, really good. What would you like to see most on the tour? Uh, Penny Lane. Penny Lane. And it's all those naughty people who come here to look at the Beatles tour, nick the sign, so they've had to paint it on the wall. Back on the bus. Back on the bus. Back on the bus. Hey, on the bus. On the bus. He didn't live here when uh, George Harrison lived here, did he? No, Karen did. Did you? How often do you get this sort of thing happening? Every week. Every weekend. Practically yeah. <laughs> every day in the summer. Every day in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Just are in your house again. Mm. Does it does this happen all the time? Yes. Do you get fed up with it? Be honest, you can tell me. It doesn't really bother me, actually. Yeah? Honestly, no. I mean, do people come and ask you, are you George's mum? No, no. No, they don't. You're not George's mum, are you? George's mum. He's not popped in for a cup of tea? No, no. Oh, right. Which is your favourite Beatles song? Take you down, I'm Very clever, because we're there. Very good. the final point in the Beatles tour, the world famous, the legendary Cavern Club. For the Beatles, and for a lot of other 60s bands, where it all started. It's funny, I think I can hear some music playing now.
The interesting thing is, although that was in black and white, those were not the Beatles. We filmed that earlier this week, and that's a group who... It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Uh, they rebuilt the Cavern Club, and uh, with us now on the, on the programme, Alan Parker and Keith Bates, which is which? I'm Alan. You're Alan, yeah. and this is Keith, and you've written a new book about the Beatles, In the Lap of the Gods, which is out at the moment. Yeah. Look more excited about being here. Sorry, yes, yes. wonderful. Oh, we mega stars, please. Yeah. I know it must be. <laughs> You're too young, but did you ever see the Beatles? I worked with them on radio in the 60s. Yeah. yeah. I was the sound mixer on uh, light programs and then producer later on. Radio. Because a lot of people un unkindly, perhaps not unfairly, said really they weren't particularly good musicians in those days. Uh, they were excellent, actually. But uh, having said that, they'd already routine the records yeah. in the studio before they came in the BBC studio. Um, the BBC, in fact, was sort of struggling with 1930s technology in the 1960s, so it was a bit difficult to yeah. record them. Um, one take, one track. And that was it? That was it, yeah. Because yeah. you, you worked with the Beatles uh, often, didn't you? I had a club in Fountain Street in Manchester called The Three Coins, and they worked mm. for me when Pete Best was with them. They worked for me for five pounds, and they went down well, so they came back three weeks later, 15 pounds. <laughs> And all I think now is if I could have recorded those two sessions, I could have retired again. Again? Again. again. Have we got those? <laughs> yeah. The interesting thing is, of course, Pete Best must be the most upset man in the entire world. He's quite happy. I'm is he all right? Oh, you know, you, you, yeah, how yeah, do you know so, Pete Best? Well, I run the official fan club. Yeah. Which is like, dirty job, but someone's got to do it. But I might met, you know, Paul and George and that sort of thing, but Pete... He's quite, you know, yeah. not a bad friend, mate. How come, I mean, how come a young lad like you is running the Beatles? I wouldn't have thought the Beatles, per se, had any fans left. I mean, have they, they no, got any fans? Oh, thousands of them. Do you know what I'm Point one, point one. Yes. Yes. Why shouldn't I be a Beatles fan when there's always crap no, of course about, you yeah. can. <laughs> you can be a Beatles yeah. fan if you want. Yeah. I've not done a Bross record. Which was your favourite Beatles record? Ross. That's just an insult. Don't use that language here. Thank you. Or Mr. Savile, OBE, is going to smack you with the, right, okay. Which was your favourite? I mean, did you did you like the early stuff? You know, she loves you. Twist Sergeant and shout. Pepper album. I was going to say yeah. when I'm the, 64. Uh, Marvellous. I've got the steel acetate with that. Right. Uh, oh, show <laughs> off! Show <laughs> off! Yeah. I've got a fully autographed copy. Marvel. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Marvellous. Oh, I've not got yeah. anything. The like spooky that. thing was that while we were watching the film, Jimmy was saying, oh. "God, that sends a shiver down my spine." Because not only do they look very much like the originals. Sound. They sound like it, and they have the actions. That, yeah. Well, Gary used the lead singer of them. Yeah. I mean, he was asked to play John Lennon in the movie. That's right, yeah. Mark McGann yeah. ended up playing him in. But Yoko thingy Bob, um... Well, it, mm. Gary's yeah. middle name yeah. is Chapman. We that should... Help, man, that doesn't help, <laughs> We should actually <laughs> say... We should say that, of course, tomorrow night, or tonight now, at 10.30 on ITV, and then later on Channel 4, and we're very, very interested in this because, of course, our executive producer, Ian Bolt, is, oh. is uh, looking after the programme. Everybody bows three times to Mecca. If you've seen him, you'll know why. And um, the Beatles uh, will not be there, unfortunately, but the John Lennon Memorial Concert live from Liverpool tomorrow or tonight should be worth watching well on my TV. Watching. Well worth watching. Will you be over there? Or no, I wouldn't in front watch of the television? It. Certainly, right in front yeah. of the TV. Yeah.